What's up guys and welcome back to Pokemon Glazed. We're in the Espo Forest where we left off last time, I guess. And guess what? Pokemon Bank is out in the US of A and North America in general. So go and download it now and, and be happy and rejoice that you can now transfer all of those great Pokemon from black and white that you spent your time training and also from other games, I guess. But you know, you gotta transfer them to black and white first. So anyway, that's out. Aren't we all happy? I'm not really. Well, I am, but at the same time, I don't really have any Pokemon to transfer over. So I guess it's not really a, that big a deal for me. But I'm sure you guys out there are super happy. And in honor of this happiness of Pokemon Bank being out, I'm probably gonna be streaming a little bit later. So when you see this video, go and check if I'm streaming or, or check my Twitter. Anyway, Blake is saying some things. There's a shrine here. It looks like Celebi, kind of. So uh, let's actually pay attention here and see what's going on. Now that I'm champion, I have more duties than ever before. Oh, so he's the champion now. How, 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 when did you have time to go become the champion? All right, I'm worried I won't be able to deal with trouble like Team Fusion anymore. Well, don't worry, you've got me for that, man. Did you feel that? It's happening again. Oh, no. All right, well... Looks like he's the champion now. I can't say I saw that coming, but, uh, well, it happened, so cool. Here's Luke again. You act like you expected us. The odds you'd meet us in two different places are incredibly large. It's, uh, well, as far as I can tell, I can feel disturbances in the fabric of space-time. Anyone can, really, if you focus enough, but I have to tell you something important. I was doing research about anything that could link the Pokemon world with this one, and I stumbled on something about 50 years ago. A newspaper article was printed about... No! The portal's about to suck you back! The article said that a pink... Oh... Could he be talking about a pink... Flamingo? Uh, probably not, but... We can't wait for you to get your 7th badge. We have to go to the Temporal Tower now. I have a hunch we'll find what we need there. But first... Hey, he healed our party. Good job, is he gonna actually fly us there? Hey! Oh, okay, I guess we both fit on the back of Honchcrow. Seems quiet, but I better check. Alright, so someone mentioned that apparently the Temporal Tower is something that's in Pokemon uh, Mystery Dungeons, so we'll see if this is actually the same thing, or maybe it's something a little different. I think it is the Temporal Tower, though. Apparently Dialga lives atop of it, so we'll see if it indeed is the space and time Pokemon that are causing havoc, as we keep being sucked into different dimensions, so... Yeah, here's the Temporal Tower. I don't know, I was checking out if there was something around, but it seems like there wasn't. It's you, damn it! How do you keep finding us? Am I doomed to have my wounds ripped open every single beepin' day? That sounds a little bit... Uh... I don't... I don't... Alright, Pikachu, here we go, we're gonna battle again. Every single time we battle this guy, someone in the comments says that I should try to catch him, but someone else says that apparently you can glitch the game. So you know what, we're gonna try it here. Oh, well, apparently we can run away from him. I did not know that, but it is a wild Pikachu apparently, so uh, let's let's try to catch him. And we'll see if we can actually do that. Oh wait, my bad. Alright, we'll do a save state right here, just so that we can do this faster, because otherwise it'll probably take a while. Um, this is all for, of course, scientific purposes. Apparently he's got a million catch rates, so... Alright, never mind, we're not gonna catch him. Good try, though, good try. Uh, we're gonna Sunny Day. He's probably gonna Thunder anyway. Um, uh, alright, one shot killed. Good job, Chang. I, I tried. Well, crap, I got beat again by the freaking kid who kicked me out of my home. How is that fair? That right... Is, it isn't. No, it's not right. I'm going to tell the rest of Team Fusion that you've arrived. That's not fair either. Far? Either? Far? Is it? Too bad! Ha 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 ha! See ya never! See, okay. Well. Um, that was interesting. I don't know if we can actually catch that Pikachu or not. Maybe in a previous beta you could, and it would glitch the game, but... Seems like in this one they just gave him like an infinite catch rate, so you can never get him. Never underestimate a Fusion grunt! Oh man, I'm shivering in my boots right now. Is my character even wearing boots? I don't know. Let's just say we're shivering in our boots, even if we're not wearing boots, because that's how scared we are, man. We're shivering in our metaphorical boots right now. I don't really want to approach them. Hey, look, there's unknowns in here. So I guess we figured out that that's the noise that everything makes. My name is not relevant, but my battling skills are. 
I guess that's how every grunt must feel. You know what I just realized? Grunts in like these evil enemy teams are like the uh, the unsullied from Game of Thrones. I don't know if you guys watched the show or, or read the books. That's kind of what they are. They're all unnamed. Well, I guess they do have names eventually. I don't know if at the start they had names. I mean, everyone's born with a name, but they're stripped of their names and given the name of uh, slaves, I guess. This is incredible. I've heard rumors that the Temporal Tower has the entirety of history written on its walls, but I never believed it to be true. As I expected, or suspected, Team Fusion is here, as you are well aware. I assume the more recent history is near the top of the tower, so I better head up that way. What are we supposed to do? I guess we'll just follow him. Uh, I'm probably gonna spare a repel just because I don't really want to run into any unknowns. But yeah, they're pretty much just mindless slaves of their boss, and they just keep on battling. Just they literally they just stand there battling forever, like they don't move. I guess that's how every trainer is, but mainly grunts, because they do everything that their boss says, which would be like their slave owner in the case of the Unsullied, and they have no names. They're all just called grunts, much like they're just called soldiers, I guess. So. Don't know why I just kind of draw drew that conclusion there. Um, I don't know. I've been watching rewatching season three again. Uh, I, I've read a few of the books, but I don't know. I'm not much of a book person. I just really like to visualize things. Um, so I just like watching the show. But uh, yeah, I've been rewatching season three because I'm really really excited for, for season four, and that's coming in a few months. So pretty excited about that. Um, not so excited about Pokemon Bank as I was talking about earlier. So I guess. We'll talk a little bit more about that, because that's the current events in Pokemon, right? And this is Pokemon. This ain't no Game of Thrones, guys. What am I doing right now? But, uh, I mean, I guess it's cool because now everyone else can get all their old Pokemon into that super duper cloud storage. But I don't really have anything to transfer over. I mean, I have all my teams from my previous playthroughs, but those have always been on emulators. So, I don't know. It was more convenient to record that way. So, it's not like those teams are actually on my cartridge versions. So I, don't, I can't transfer any of those, and then, you know, I guess I do have black and white, which I did a lot of the Pokédex, so I can transfer stuff like that, but, um, I don't know, I guess it is cool for people that like competitive battling, they can use those move tutors from black and white now, and, uh, the eggs moves, or not egg moves, but yeah, move tutor moves, basically, that aren't in X and Y, you can get those Pokémon now, and, uh, you know, maybe some stuff will be able to breed with move tutor moves. And all that. I mean, I'm not all that into breeding, or I guess I'm not very good at it, or competitive battling for that matter. But for those of you that are, that's out now. So go and have fun with that, because I know we've been waiting for a long time. It was out in Japan, and then it was taken off of Japan, and then it came back in America, or well, it came back in Japan, and then it came out in Europe like yesterday or two days ago, something like that. And, uh,. That everyone in America was like, yo, where'd this be at? And now it's finally out, so. Joy to the world, I fell in their trap. Excellent. So I guess this is all just, I mean, I thought it was kind of a maze, but it's not really. It's all just a straightforward running through and up ladders and falling down holes and battling more grunts and getting some more levels. And, uh, Team Fusion, yeah! Alright. Uh, Valor, to me. By that I mean you're going up first. So, uh, someone asked me to actually evolve Ribbit, so we're gonna do that. Oh, by the way, last time I asked people about people with the same first and last name, and apparently there's some guy that won American Idol, I guess, and his name was like Philip Phillips, as well as like Mohammed. Mohammed is, I guess, someone's friend or something. I don't know. Mohammed's like the most common name in the world, isn't it? Something like that. So, I mean, that's. Not too surprising, but uh, I don't think I've heard the last name Mohammed, or at least never met anyone with that last name. Um, that's probably pretty common. Anyway, uh, yeah, so apparently there are a lot of people whose parents are just like, Yeah, screw you, kid. You you have the same first and last name now. Uh, so Sludge Bomb here. I mean, I guess all there's no physical special split as far as I know. Someone said that apparently there is, but I don't think it, it's in this game. So, uh... I don't know if they even be able to do that. I guess they might be able to. I mean, hacking can do anything, so it's probably possible, but I don't know if it's actually in this game, and I'm not sure how to check, so we'll just pretend that it's not, and uh, say that Sludge Bomb is going to be better, even though normally, you know, Poison Fang was physical, and Sludge Bomb would be special, 
Uh, there's Blake, but I think that there might be something through this hole. Or maybe this is all just an easier way to get back to the beginning. Probably that, but you never know. So let's go around here. Um, uh, okay. Thank you for the insightful words, Mr. Grunt. So we came this way. Let's go down this one now and see if it's anything different. Probably not. Nope. Okay. Well, I guess we'll go to Blake then. We're gonna speed our way through this. Yeah! And by that I mean actually speed our way through this. Yeah! And, uh, continue to speed our way through this. Yeah! There we go. Okay, up this ladder. Just battled this guy. Are you serious? Unknown I? Why are you in my way? I are you in my way? <laughs> I'm fun. Alright, here's Blake. Let's go. Foo -foo -foo -foo. Looks like we have company, dear. Oh boy, it's a husband and wife evil duo. How great. Oh, it's you. We're familiar with each other. Oh, get it? Because they're family. Ha. Good job, Michael. Nice puns. I can't help but think of Michael Scott whenever I see this guy. So we'll pretend he's Michael Scott from now on. He's just a family man with deeper dreams of conquering the world, but he doesn't really know what he's doing. So he has to bring his slightly more evil wife, Jan, into the mix. Uh... To, to rule the world. This is my beautiful wife, Regina. That's close enough to Jan, right? Regina. Regina. Re Regina. What a great name. Regina. Let's call her Regina just because we're super cool like that. This must be the brat you were telling me about. And this, the famous Blake. I am truly charmed to meet you. I must ask you to stand aside so we can pass. Our work here is done. I never move for the leader of Team Fusion. You'd have to kill me first. Ooh, he's got spunk. I'd love to wipe the smirk off his face in a battle. May I, Michael Kins? You really call him Michael Kins? Of course you can, my dear. I'll take on the brat. This is the final time you'll mess with us, kid. My wife and I are unstoppable for Sue. Sounds like a plan. Let's see how we do. I thought it might be like a two-on-two -two battle, but I guess not. Maybe those aren't in this game. I think Diamond and Pearl was the first one to have two-on-two uh, -two battles, actually. So yeah, probably not in this game, but uh, we're going to take out Ditto before he can even transform. Or not, because he's got super potions. That's... That's cool, too. Good job. Um, Ribbit, I believe in you, man. Use that new sludge bomb power. Jesus, are you serious? Two, two, okay. Glitched. All right, well, there we go. Finally taking out that ditto. Zoroark is next. And uh, I guess before it transforms into anything, we can rock smash it or not. Okay, that's cool, too. Strength away. Actually, okay, there we go. I was like, why is he using... Why is he using the sludge bomb? Alright, well, at least we've got Finn. So, even though most of our team is dead, there we go, he only had two Pokemon, so... Great, you little jerk! And you, Blake, are nothing but a meddling cheat! Let's go, dearie! I found out everything I need here. I know Mew disappeared into an alternate reality 50 years ago, and I furthermore know how to get it back. Goodbye, fools! They've disappeared! Thank you for your help here, I'm sure you can make use of this! Is that Fly? It is Fly, isn't it? Thank you so much. Uh, Luke mustn't, must have been talking about how Mew was sighted in his universe. Oh, a, a pink Pokemon. Not a pink Flamingo. Well, I mean, Mew kind of looks like a Flamingo, right? I don't know what Team Fusion wants to do with Mew, but we must protect at all costs. I'll take you back to Southerly City, okay? Let's go! What is Southerly City? Is this where that fire gym leader guy is? The firefighter, he's a fire man, fire for fire man, he's got the fire coming, I'm a, this is, this is Lil Wayne, young Mubla, baby, yeah, see you later, Blake, good stuff, I was hoping to see Johto from here, but it's just too far, I wonder where Johto actually is from here, let's, let's go check the, the world map of, well, that, that's not the world map, the world map's up here, isn't it, yep, alright, there it is, uh, here's Johto, alright, well, Apparently it's too far, though. What the heck is Colo Isle? All of these are actually islands? What? That's crazy. Is this an island? Trainer Isle. Holy crap, this game is huge. These are actually all islands. Okay, well, Colo Isle is between... What, what is Evergreen Town? What the... Okay, that's that must be something new. But apparently there is Johto in all of this. Whitewood City? Okay, that's definitely new as well. Yeah, this... 
What, what did this used to be? I mean, I guess this route didn't even used to exist. Bamboo forest? Yeah, that did not exist before. Uh, Route 38. Um, so yeah, there's, there's Jota. We got a little glimpse of that. I wasn't really sure that any of that existed, but I guess now it's confirmed. So next time on Pokemon Glazed, we'll be taking on the guy with the good firepower. Fire for fire man! Fire for fire man! He's got the flame is really hot and it'd be unwise to walk through it and... You can spark it up and I'ma put you out. Is it hot in here or what if you couldn't tell? Yeah. Alright. Enough of that. Um, Lil Wayne is a... I'm sure he's a great guy. I'd love to meet him someday. And uh, here's the world map again in case you didn't get a good look before. What's over here? Did we even go over this way? Oh, that's that's Espo Forest. Okay, well, I guess we did go that way. So, um... I was stalling out for time because this seemed to be a shorter episode, but then again, not really, so maybe I'll do a little bit of training. I don't really think we need it. Some people have said that we do, but I don't know. It really hasn't been that tough so far, uh, so I don't think we need any extra training. Uh, Finn should be able to handle this gym pretty well, so thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, and next time we'll take on the Fireman, Ernest. Goodbye.